The Tsai administration early on declared that it would work to attract more foreign talent to Taiwan, but one ongoing case illustrates how existing regulations are undercutting that goal. Ralph Jensen, a German national, has been working in Taiwan for 18 years and raised his family here, but his family has been forced to break up because his wife and children aren't legally allowed to work here. Eighteen years ago, Ralph Jensen came from Germany to Kaohsiung, where he worked as an engineer and went on to raise four children. For a while, it was an acceptable arrangement, but family life became increasingly difficult. Under immigration law, which recognizes his wife and kids only as temporary residents, were not allowed to find work. It's forced his kids to look for jobs abroad. My wife would have liked to take up a temporary job, a part-time job, and as I changed uh, careers, occasionally money was tight sometimes, and that would have helped a lot if she could have done that. But that is against Taiwan law. But today, actually, our children are the ones who are most impacted by that situation, that they remain temporary residents, fully dependent on me. <laughs> Actually, it's really unfair, and you can't work legally unless a company moves to hire you, but you won't get very high wages unless you're married. One KMT lawmaker spoke out, saying the Thai administration was effectively pushing foreigners out the door. I hope we can amend Article 25 of the Immigration Act so that after foreign nationals with special skills receive permanent residency status, their spouse and children can also receive permanent residency along with them. The National Development Council responded, saying that it would complete a survey on the issue before the end of the year. The NDC did not rule out a push for special regulations to safeguard the right of certain foreigners to work in Taiwan.